everybody and welcome. Today we are playing World of Tanks on the Xbox One. And also today we got some new tanks. Oh no, premium tanks unfortunately. But we have the King Tiger. Da da da. And we also got the Captured King Tiger, which I haven't played yet. I think I've had about five, four games in the King Tiger. Let's see if we can find the Captured version. It'll be in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. How different is it? Uh, well, we've got a different flag. <laughs> and it has more side plates than the previous one. And has a different colour. American flag on the back. Uh, sides. Yeah, both sides. All in all, it's very similar. I don't think there are any changes other than the paint jobs. Uh, the previous game I literally just finished was a defeat, but I got five ground block damage and I, I can't complain with that. I did the best I could with that one. And what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into a few games with the Captured King... Well, this is King Tiger. I haven't got my ops set up for the uh, Captured and I can't be bothered setting them up. I will be playing it, but considering it's the exact same tank with a bit, but with a different paint job, I don't see the point. I'm sort of just got it to have it as a collection sort of thing. Got it because I can get it. <laughs> Although I'm now bankrupt, because it cost twenty-five thousand silver. Uh, silver, twenty-five thousand gold. Sorry, and that's seventy pounds, seventy British pounds. I'm not sure what that is in dollars, but it's a lot. It's a lot indeed. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, once again, it's a tier 10 game with one tier 9. Wow, okay, usually there's about three or four tier 9s, but yeah, I'll take that. Uh, one tier 7 either side, and the rest are tier 8s and 10s. Yeah, it should be a fun a fun game. Alright, where am I going? Where everyone else doesn't go. <laughs> right. So, in this thing, I'm probably going to push up this way, but I can see where everyone else doesn't go and goes. Oh, you know, it's a decent tank. Uh, tank. It's a tiger. Oh, it's a tiger. It's a decent tank. Uh, it has, I think, the same armor as a tiger, too. Maybe more. It does seem a lot more maneuverable when turning. The traverse feels... Slightly less than a Ramatel Barsig P8, but it does feel quite responsive. I do like it. Not quite as fast as I like, but for heavy tank it's pretty decent. In idle by the I think. If I can get over here, I might actually go and get myself a little line back in. I have noticed the commander hatch is very, very easy to pen. In fact, the entire top of the turret. So you can't even do like a T-32 peak over the hill and stay peaked with a lot of it. Knowing full well, a lot of people who shoot you are going to bounce on you. Right it. But, oh great, it had to be an E5. The penetration it obviously has to be decent considering there are now no preferential match. So, I've got my front plate is probably a bit more angled than that. Although, my armor is stuck on much of them. Ah, that should have been a pen through the side. Although, I might come a little closer to this side so I can make my armor not as bad job. Oh, hello. Right in the underplate. Oh, I should have tracked him. Oh, got fed. Oh, wow. T32, you have moved way too aggressively there for your armor. The plate, although that, in my opinion, should have hit the track Focus and not got a penetration for that. Ow! Top of the turret. Uh, yeah, I also need to fix that problem. I seem to love to aim out when I pull the trigger, and it is a very bad thing to do because I always seem to miss from doing it. I should do that, then back out the turret. I'm going to say, because it's set on the default, uh, not default, uh, custom, so I can... It is set. Some zoom out on the Will you stop painting my turret? Will you stop... Oh, that's firing high explosives now. Yeah. They're getting peed off with me. 
I'm gonna bring it around and see if I can get the IS-5 glory. Glory. Ready to fire on target. Okay, so I could see you there. Uh, the idiot will pull out any second now. They do not learn until they get half health, and even then they're still. Oh, he's getting absolutely half death star. And I missed because I probably zoomed out and my aim went up. Oh, oh, he's still alive. And that actually went nowhere. In fact, it didn't give me a bounce counter. I must have just missed by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Yeah. IS 5. Ah, I pulled away when I pulled the trigger. Ready to fire on target. Is he eyeing me up? No, he doesn't, he's not looking at me. Uh, I want the side of his turret, but I can't shoot the side of his turret. So I'm sort of just wasting rounds on him here. But Oh, he's eyeing me up now. There we go. And it's a sticker as well. We have a tracker, or a sticker. If you prefer. It's a sticker! People shooting! Oh, something bounced. And I like it when they bounce. Don't put your armor sideways to me again, you absolute donkey kong. Death Star, you have no armor. And that shot. Wait, did my shot hit the dirt, or was that someone else returning fire? Either way, I'm beginning to feel very lonely over here, as most of my tanks have been destroyed. Yeah, and that was a bad idea. Oh, Death Star's still alive. I am not going to repair, because I am just going to die anyway. Alright, so I've got a damage gun and my turret rig is broken. There's something else back there. The E5 is always a challenge for me, but not as much of a challenge as the E3. Oh, no, that's a challenge. Oh, the E5 is obviously getting pissed off. He wants to come in there. Show me some special housing. Oh, and he makes a mistake. He gets. Bombarded from the hill as well. Although now this guy wants to play. And oh shit! Uh, never mind. This guy is not playing. <laughs> I got. It was a T30. It must have been a T30 shooting me from across the map. That came from the same direction. Well, I now know what it was. I believe I know what it was. And I think I did very well. I, I killed the five. He was a complete and utter idiot. Not even down. Can run the corner side on. Who does that? Uh, we have someone who's decided not to play the game because, you know, yeah, well, scout. I haven't played in this for a long time, although I've not been in scouts. A grill 15, moving in for the kill, line up a shot, isn't it? Yeah, you don't have gun depression, man, does Not the best. Wow, you can see him. Wow, you can see him from there. Shot through the good amount of nice Right, so let me. So the Lil's facing ass first to a King Tiger, because you know, logic. He probably will bounce most of his shots off his ass anyway, but. Come on, you could. Can... There we go. Oh, if you keep. That, that's actually kind of the right angle there. Credit. Thank you. If that guy was to play, he could unload his Arthrontum mag into this guy. No problems. We have a KV4 over there. I might give the captured King Tiger a go, although it's no different. Oh, I don't believe it's any different. I might actually have a look. Would you hit or miss? Keep missing. So, survey says... You're a little far away to be using that gun. My point exactly. Oh, the loaf killed the KV-4. Uh. King Tiger's now getting hit. Scout is taking on IS-7 as if he's a normal medium. Always a bad idea. Never recommend it. And if he doesn't move, he's going to die. Ooh, you're very lucky there. He's most likely just reloaded. 
We've got about three shots worth of reloads. Yeah, get, we can get about three, maybe four off before he's reloaded. And that's providing he's got... Uh, what's it called? Ventilation and other crew skills. If he's stock, you know, like, just got the tank and there's nothing on it, then probably could get four, maybe five in. Bad idea. Unless you've got his underplate already aimed up. So you don't actually need to move. Just go around the corner. And then... Oh, there we go. He's fired now. Go, 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 go. Ugh. I don't know why I just don't reload and then go and circle him once he pulls the trigger. The other tanks are on the opposite side of the map and dying fast. He'll spot it. And he's toast. T30 got a shot in him. That's gonna be a bit of a killer on the health. Oh, I had to, I've still got this tank. I need to work through it. And you're being eyed up by the T30 as well. It's, oh, no. He's gone. Oh, he's coming back again. Ah, oh, yeah, for someone else. Who else did he have? Just in front Ah, it must have been that guy, of course. Now, back to the scout. Who is now getting eyed up by the IS-7 because he's becoming a pain in the ass and he's also the last one alive. Oh, you are so dead, Scout, and that's kind of your own fault. Yeah, you're toast. That's all he cared about was that one kill. Oh, this track's off, though. How well can he do? He's not very well angled. I have seven putting a shot. Grilled! Putting a shot right in his side. Oof. Scout still not moving from spawn. Auto loaded, trying to, oh, never mind. <laughs> trying to put rounds in his ass, but the penetration is shocking on this thing. Does better from the front than it does from the rear of a tank, which is stupid, but yeah. Yeah, we didn't do too bad, so we didn't block much because it was an E5 and a Death Star, which I rather wish I hadn't got hit by. He was using premium rounds, he must have been, because he killed like everyone in my tank. Or at least he damaged, he didn't kill everyone, sorry, he, uh, Killed everyone? What? Uh, he took out my gun and gun mantlet, so he must have hit me with a high explosive of some sort. Whether it was premium or standard, I don't know, but... Most likely premium. You don't carry standard in the Death Star. No. <laughs> uh, okay, so we didn't do much here. The most damage we did was actually to the Death Star. I killed his fuel tank. Uh, I killed the E5. I took out everything else. Right, let's throw another game in and see what we can do. I'd like a game where it's tier 8 with a few tier 9s. Tier 8s only would be great, but doesn't leave that much of a challenge unless they're all mediums. It feels like that in this tank, at least. It can hold its own. It can turn at the same speed as a Leo trying to circle you. I found that out in the last game. That's how I died. I got circled. And then circled again, and then he came back at me, and I uh, reversed Razan on the spot. And he was able to start gaining ground on me that way. And then when I did stop and turn, I got surrounded by a second tank and, you know, died. Uh, I'm just going to blow my nose. Let's see what we got, though. Well, someone was listening to me. It's tier rates and lower. Which means it's time for some seal clubbing. Which means I don't really care where the majority of the team goes in this kind of match because I'm the highest and... Unless the team completely leaves one side completely undefended, in which case I do care because, you know, they'll get down the side. Uh, go on, go on. I'll reverse halfway past back you. It was your right as way. You see, no one's going to the town, which means I've now got to go to the town, because team can't spread out, and why the hell are mediums and heavies camping on a ridge? Oh, wait, it's like they're all mediums with a tank. Tank destroyer, fine. Especially that one, it's got no blooming uh, armor. But Panther, maybe, but the Indian Panther, no. Panther's long range. Not very good armor, but decent. And an excellent gun. It's... I think the Tiger's gun? Standard Tiger TS7 has the most accurate gun in the game. I think the Panzer is the second, 
but don't quote me on that, but that's my experience from using both tanks, the Panther is very accurate, unless you're on a very level terrain, in which case I find it to be very inaccurate. If you're shooting a hill, and you're shooting up like that, you seem to hit wherever you're aiming every time you're shooting level. And you might as well be throwing rocks at a van, you know, you jack. And if you do hit, it's going to be some weird donk on the side. Hey, KV2. You might want to watch where you're going. We'll worry less about the person in the premium tent with the cool paint job and more about where the hell you're driving. Don't get me wrong. You can look up my design, but do that in spawn. I want to go right, but I don't want to off cut you jeez, I'm losing the same speed as you yet. Although I am taking out half a fence with me. And victim number one looks like an IS3. Crossing a bridge. Ooh. You are lucky I was not there faster. Oh you oh hello. A 131, you're not much of a threat, but you still can get in the place. Although I'm more worried oh shit, I'm getting people right now. Are you going straight up? Okay. I'll let you go first so I can decide how to maneuver around you. I was wanting to go to that mound just there so I could appear around both sides. Oh, artillery, so close. Oh no, shit. Sherlock. Oh, he's, he's a bit further back in the building thing than I thought. Oh, one track. Ah, where's his IS-3? Let's pay him a visit. Oh, no IS-3. That works. Oh, there, hello. Right <laughs> Where the hell did he pen me? Well, whatever. I can't help the KV-2 because he's in the way. And I can't get my gun depression down. Oh, hello. 131's come to play. And what's this? It's a prototype. Okay, now we're screwed. We're surrounded. Ready to fire on target. Ah, kicking my gun down here. Put out the fire. Oh, I got to fire. Get and I'm screwed. So Take screwed. So crack. screwed. Ah, oh, he tried to kill me from behind and failed. Ah, uh, I pushed way too far. I was trying to help the KB too, but. I didn't do much in terms of helping. Well, it gives us a chance to give the other tiger a go, at least. It should be identical, but yeah. It feels like I'm buying the... Oh, bought the... Uh, oh, what they're called now? Those Sherman things. Tier 8 Shermans. Have I passed it already? Oh, oh, apparently I passed it. Oh. If any of you get a chance to play this tank, I definitely recommend it. It's a good tank. Surely I have one at tier 8. I, I have like three. Ah, uh, uh, there we go. Oh, that's not it. Sorry. Ah, uh, there we go. These are the two. Exact same tank. Just ones from a, a different paint job. Why can I not find... Okay, so there's my tiger. It should just be literally here. It's just after the Vendicator. Ah, there we go. Oh, crap. That's going to end badly. Back out, back out, back out. Please back out. Oh, did I make it? Am I garaging? I am garaging. Far. Ooh. Once again, guys. Almost just put myself in a game with... Ugh, without consumables. Never a good idea. Definitely recommend you at least take your consumables with you. Uh, Camel Nets are free. Practically, you don't have to pay for them to be taken off your tank, so I just buy one with everything. My goal right now is to put one Camel Net on every single tank I own, but that's going to take like 40 million just to do. Although, obviously, not that much. I'm just being stupid now, but it's. A <laughs> I've got just under 300 tanks. At a hundred uh, silver for a camera. Oh, that's a hundred thousand silver. But why the extra three zeros? Just say a hundred silver. 
Much easier. Much easier. Just take three zeros off. And move it down from millions to thousands. And let's see how much different this is. It's got the exact same uh, equipment and... Oh, gosh, pardon me. Consumables on it. It doesn't look as cool in my opinion. It does have some brush on the on the barrel. Some nice little green bush. Iggity. But it just doesn't look the same. I like the discolourment on the other one as well. Oh there we go, there's the other one. It's got like a camo a camo de hull. But a uh, orange turret, which I thought is kind of weird. But at the same time it's very nice. And apparently a skull, I don't know if he's put that on or if that came with it. It also gets drapes and a chain dangling off the front. Does this get a chain? No. It's captured, but it doesn't come with all the cool stuff. Because, you know, you capture a tank and you remove all the cool stuff off it. For no apparent reason. KV... Oh no, no, it's a KV-5. But it's the uh, Halloween version. Which is not a bad one. I need to put some more of that other tier right, the one I stopped on by accident. The... Uh, I've forgotten the nation. I've forgotten the tank itself. It's one of those AMXs, but it's not an AMX. It's like HMX or something stupid. Oh, after this, I think I will end the video after this match and start up a new one. And add it to the list. This is a very nice tank. Gun compression seems to be the same as the other ones. I'm just worried about this one. No, I can't walk into that guy. Some nice benches in this. This one feels a little more sluggy, although it seems to turn. Actually, is that tooling on the spot faster than the other one? This feels sluggish. Although I think that's more me combined with the terrain and the actual. Ow! And they're on the hill, of course. Can you shoot the other tiger who's spotted him? And of course I missed. Making Tiger, do you mind dying? Yeah. Thank you. That way I can choose a nice parking spot behind you and attempt to keep my. Oh! This is gonna hurt. Oh, great, the vulture's moving in. Oh, did you miss? Penetration. Ow! Ow! The King Tiger seems to be better than the Captured, although I think that's just me. I also did push too far forward again. Another problem I seem to have sometimes. I'm not going to blame the bullet in which case he, he pushes too far forward and I sit too far back. But yeah, I had six getting pummeled away here. Oh, he should... Four health, really. Four health. He must be so pissed here. Yeah, the I six is still alive. Oh, <laughs> six health. Anything will kill him. I'm surprised the artillery isn't just trying to do it. Why are you sat all the way up there? Don't get me wrong, your arm is way more armory when you're at a distance, but your gun is shot. You're lucky if you've been an apple on a tree, let alone. Hey, you four health gone. You don't want anything else. This guy's doing better than you. Ooh, the King Kaiga just leveled several vehicles. Ah, it's my recommended tank. Let's have a look at this one, shall we? Let's see how well the guy plays this. 
because it is a good tank for hills. The turret armor on this thing is actually real decent. I mean, I found some tier nines, unless the fire high explosive, in which case. Oh, right in the pie hole. Although that's what you get from a for no health. Oh, watch out, King Tiger on your ass. King Tiger on your ass. He is hunting for you. He is hunting for you. And he puts it in. But you've got the... Oh, he doesn't even hurt. Did you just fire at his frontal plate, you absolute maniac? You can circle this guy easily. Why are you side on? Oh, must be side on. Oh, you put your last round in at least. Oh, we got another one. And this guy's playing a little bit more across the map. Oh, and he's not moving. Wow, are you not... Are you not going to try and move? Oh my gosh, players. You've been shot. Ah, it's alright, I'll just sit still. Ah, no, I'll show my ass to the enemy and leave it sticking out a little bit. <laughs> wow. I thought I was bad. Oh, I feel so sorry for this guy. He's tier 5. In a tier 8 match. Oh, he's armed with a, a decent ish gun. It'll do two, maybe 300 damage if it hits a, a decent spot on the tank. They're going to come last, mate. They're not going to come. Well, they might come straight over, actually. But they're more of a lefty kind of people. Yeah, told you. Fire! 200, as I said. Ah, <laughs> he missed it. Oh, he missed. And your toast. Why the medium? I wanted that medium, but it looks a little bit strange. Although I've got the mutant turtle things, which would look stranger. But ah, 1,100 blocked. My own fault there. Team was a little bit shit, and I pushed too far hard. Too far forward and a little bit too aggressively. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed a quick preview of the uh, King Tiger and a game of the Captured Tiger. I will be playing a few more games of this. I look forward to seeing you. Thanks for watching us guys. If you've enjoyed this video then please think about liking and subscribing to us. And if you dislike this video then hit the dislike button and comment below so that we can try and improve. Thanks everyone.